Today we're going to take a look at Unify APAC Original. It is the first AC model they came out with. It's been working for about two years and uh, some kids knocked it off and it stopped working so it was, I presume, physically, physically damaged. So I can power it up, the LED comes on, but I cannot communicate to it whatsoever. I tried everything, all the tricks, SSAging, resetting, you name it. It does, it just doesn't communicate back whatsoever. I can't ping it at all. So we're gonna take it apart to see what's inside and we're gonna see how it was made and what makes it thick okay so here we go I got my tool set Looks like just four screws. Okay, I'm going to take my trusty. It comes apart pretty easily. I didn't have to force it at all. I guess because it was knocked down or something. Oh, here we go. I can't fully open it. There's a um, ribbon cable that goes to the LED at the front. So I am going to disconnect that. First, there we go. The LED is disconnected, and that's how it looks. Really, is quite simple but effective. Okay. Well, let's see the antennas. One, two, three, four, five, six antennas. Got two gigabit ports here. We've got what do we got here? Looks like uh, for a second there, I thought it was a PCIe slot. But these two look like PCIe slots, right? So this can actually be taken apart. These are the chips. One presumably 2.4, one 5 gig. And let's see here, now let's see. Anything else special? No, really, just six antennas. They're all shaped differently, positioned differently. Um, it was a pretty uh, strong UAP AC Pro. Um, I think these use uh, Broadcom chips and uh, they're not, that's why they switched these because there was a compliance issue with their software or whatever. Uh, so they locked the features on these already. So they're, these are feature locked. The ones that are working naturally. Uh, the new Arthuros chips in the AC Pros, the newer versions are much more capable than these old broad, Broadcom chips but these were these are working just fine serving the clients uh, I have a ton of these out in the field still as a matter of fact last night I uh, had to reset one and uh, uh, default it and readopt it uh, 
and but they keep on chugging so three years in or so and it doesn't look like anything is broken really it's just that this is for the ribbon cable it's just that it doesn't want to talk maybe something got knocked loose I don't see anything really damaged or scratched maybe I should try to take one of these Broadcom chips up just so we can see it I would have to disconnect this and I really don't want to do that. Ah, there we go. Anything underneath? No, just a metal mount. It is just a standard PCIe. I'm not sure if anything is burned behind. It's impossible to say, but I don't see anything black behind this. really don't see anything loose so I'm not sure what exactly went wrong with this there we go I knocked some of that off it's no big deal as long as the connectors stay in place for the antenna I suppose I don't think I'm gonna get this working again but you never know. Okay, yeah, transform. Everything seems to be okay. Right? No damage whatsoever. Capacitors are okay. They're not bulged. They look great. Really, really. It's it's kind of large though, uh, and a bit heavy. Maybe that's why they didn't like this design, the square design. Going back to the uh, the round one. Okay, I got my trusty 48 volt original PoE that came with this unit. This unit was supplied, like all other units, from directly from the switch. However, I'm going to power it with this thing. And let's see if we can see any signs of life now that I put it back together. Let's see if the LEDs show up. Can't see. Nothing is coming up. It's the main. I don't see link activity at all. Plugged, yeah. Power is coming. There's no light at all. I think this must be it for this little guy.